Hi, I'm Bonnie, and Jay and I are going to give you an inside tour of our turning point. Hi, we're in Grenada, West Indies, and the boat is sitting behind our house in a lovely spot. I'm going to take you on an inside tour. Uh, several people have asked about the steering station, so I'm going to take you around to the chart room table first and the steering, the nav station. The chart table has a drawer underneath where, above where the chair is, and then it has three nice big uh, drawers, and then there's shelving area. I'll come back here so that you, honey, would you take the uh, covers off from the navigation equipment, please? Thank you. So you can steer the boat from outside. You can see the pilot house chair there. Or we use a rat or a mouse, as we call it, and we can steer it from any place in the boat uh, in non-restricted water. We really have loved that. The dining area is party, party, party. You can seat six to eight people very, very, very comfortably. The upholstering is new. The table is in great condition. Lots of beautiful windows. We have coverings on them so that you can shade the amount of sun. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, lots of window space, really quality windows throughout. I hope I'm not moving too fast. I'm not really good at this. Okay, back to the nav station, and I'll pan back. Lovely hardwood floors. And over here, there's storage. And I'll come back this way so that you can see. And then there's a companion way that leads down to the sea berths on the starboard side. And then back here, a wet locker with good storage. Jay, would you open that, honey, please? and show their, their shelves inside. So there's excellent storage for your safety equipment and wet storage there. Now we'll head down the companionway on the starboard side to the sea berths. We like the layout of this very, very much because we have a split cabin design where you have two different beds here. Underneath, underneath the, um, the bed you have storage space. We use that for charts, paper charts. I know a lot of people don't use paper charts anymore, but we still like them. And then underneath this settee, there's plenty of room for, in behind the wooden area there, there's room for spare engine parts. Underneath here is where we keep the life raft and the extra life jackets. And then above this settee, we added some extra bookshelves. So there's two shelves up here, lots of storage space for, you know, for your books. And then back here, coming down, there's more storage we use this for pens and papers and um, stationery and that sort of thing. And then leading back up to the uh, main cabin. Moving forward from the sea berths is the starboard head. Nice big mirrors in both of the heads. Uh, an on-demand gas hot water heater, so you have nice hot water real porcelain sinks. No plastic in here. This boat was built with top quality of everything. Storage underneath. There's a hatch. We use that for our little extra wine locker down here on the, uh, the deck. And then let me walk around here. The guy who had this built, this boat built and customized for himself, didn't want a toilet in here. So what he did, he loved food, so he had an extra refrigerator put in. And then we use this for medicine and storage here. Okay. Now we're moving forward on the starboard side. And as you can see, there's another hanging locker. Lots and lots of hanging locker and storage space in this boat. Beautiful wooden decks and something that I have absolutely adored, never thought that I would have in a boat, 
is a proper linen closet. So there's storage there. There's one, two, three, four, five shelves in there. You might have to, uh, the wife might have to sacrifice some of that for her husband's storage, but my husband's been very good and given that to me. And then on each side, over here on the starboard side, you have four drawers here, four drawers there, and then underneath there's a sliding area, and we use that for shoe storage. In here, there's a closet, and it gets a little dark here. Let me see if I can get that open. Uh, this is where the air conditioning lives, and we've never used the air conditioning. We love the tropics, and we love the fresh air, so we've never used it. I keep my iron and some incidentals in there. Now, moving forward on the starboard side from the companionway, I'm taking you into the master cabin. There are actually two master cabins, so if you had two owners to the boat, no one would be deprived because you would each have an identical cabin. Lots of nice storage space below, as I had just taken a picture of. And then moving up here, a nice shelf, and then a shelf above, and a great big bin storage hanging locker there. The ventilation on this boat is truly amazing. The, uh, we had to laugh when we first bought her. We'd open the hatch. You can see the wind blowing the caftan up there and we would open it and it was really funny because it would hit the back wall and then levitate the sheets so we felt like Casper the friendly ghost was our was our companion in here coming down into turning point galley from the main salon refrigeration system two big bins one for refrigeration usually one is lodged for Freezer, new Force 10 stove put in after place original equipment, double sinks, plenty of storage space in the lockers of above and below, counter space working there, and of course counter space working on the other side. View of the forward cabin from here which is identical to the one on the starboard side. There's a microwave that can be used here. And storage lockers, again identical. Plenty of overhead ventilation. Nice berth. Looking from forward to aft on the port side. View of the double sinks. Working space for the galley. The English broiler, which we don't use, but it's an uh, added feature to the galley. Walking back aft here to the uh, head. There's a bar in route. And the LP gas detectors. More bar sparge space there. By the way, manual bilge pumps. In the event of needing them. A real porcelain sink. Same as on the starboard side. Large head, walk in, there's a laundry basket, vacuum flush head that uses fresh water, a large stand up shower with a drain grate down below there, storage space in here. I'll just step into the shower and make a turn around, plenty of room. And now looking from Aft in the head to forward, 